Hey guys, it's Ross, and I want to do a video showing you my carrots for just just a second here. All right, give me give me two seconds, okay? This here is my my carrot bed. All right, and I had about three rows of carrots in here. We harvested a lot of them. We've been eating tons of them, and down in here is just some carrots that are ripe. You know, you can see. You can tell they're ripe when the uh, the carrot pokes its head up out of the soil here. And because I have such well-draining soil, it's fairly easy to just pull these guys right out of the ground. And we've got ourselves a carrot. Now, I didn't want to just do a video on pulling a carrot out of the ground, guys. I thought that would be a little too artsy, maybe. A little too pointless. I feel like I would have robbed you guys of some information, perhaps. But I think there's a lot to be learned with just pulling a carrot out of the ground. For some reason, guys, it was extremely pleasurable for me to pull that carrot out of the ground. I don't think the same thing can occur with somebody else's carrot, right? If I go to my friend's house, as an example, he's growing carrots, I pull one up out of the ground, eh. But I think because I grew this carrot and I spent the time to take care of this, this plot, you know, everything out here that I grow. I think there's some kind of reward at the end of all this and it just makes everything worthwhile not just the reward of the carrot itself and eating the carrot and getting a really pleasurable experience of eating a tasty carrot but the fact that I pulled that out of the ground it was such a huge success and there's just something about it. I don't know. I don't know, guys. Maybe you have some some thoughts on that, but I think what I'm trying to say is that I really want you guys to understand what I just felt. And there's really no way I think to explain it other than just to do it. So go out there and grow your own food, guys. Take care.